Hey guys, what's up? It's me, PK Cubed, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to daisy chain what we made in the last video, a full adder. And so, this is our full adder, and as you can see, it will do exactly what it's supposed to do, just like that. And this is basically, um, this is, a, this is our full adder. So, the next thing we need to do is um, make it so we can daisy chain them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new circuit in this file. So you can click on the plus right here, and I'm gonna call this. Um, let's. What should we call it? Uh, daisy chained adders. No, eight bit adder. Eight bit adder. All right. So now, if we can, uh, we should be able to put this adder into here. And yes, you can see we have. Um, it's not gonna, yeah, a, b. C, carry out, carry in, or sorry, carry out and sum. So the, you can see these are red because we don't have any inputs going to them yet, but we'll get to that. So the one modification I'm actually going to make real quick in this in our main, and I'm going to rename this to full adder, just like that. And I'm going to put the carry out, I'm actually going to put that on the bottom here. And I'm going to. Can I see this? There's something wrong here. Carry out. Okay. I'm gonna make it face south. Just like that. And then I'm. No, sorry, not south. North. And then I'm gonna connect it back up. There we go. So it's gonna be on the bottom, and then I'll put the carry in. And I'll move that over the top. Can I do that? And I will make it face south. There we go. And then connect it back up. There we go. So our carry out is on the bottom. And our carry in is on the top. And I'll rename this to carry in. Just like that. So now we have our carry in on the top and our carry in on the our carry out on the bottom. And what that does is it makes it a whole oh that what? I just have to okay that that works so that makes it a whole lot easier to daisy chain these because I can actually just plop them right on top of each other so if we want to make an 8-bit adder we are gonna need eight of these so we can just grab eight of them and we can put them together like this so there's four five six seven and eight now we need to grab the inputs. So let's take this and we'll make it data bits 8. And then we'll grab a splitter. And it's giving us a warning because these aren't the same. So 8 and 8. And bring this down so we can see everything. Now we want to connect 0. Let's see. 0, if we poke it, 0 is the one on the right. So that needs to be the one that goes to our first um, adder. So that's going to go right here into the fir the A input. And then we're going to do that for each of our adders like this. And just connect it up to um, what we have on the splitter. You can make this look neat if you want, but I'm just going to do it like this. and one more and just connect it up like that and now we can add our second input for the second oh I just messed up something there we go we can add our second input for the second byte or yeah second byte of information so I'm just gonna copy this and duplicate it and try to try to bring it over to where we need it there we go. Just like that. And now we can connect these up to our second. Um, that needs to go. That'll work. Like that. And then this one goes over to. Yeah, over to this one. This one goes over to. Uh, this one, 
this one goes over here this one goes over here this one goes over here and our last one goes right over here now the last thing we need to do is um, at our or sorry not the last thing we have one more thing two two more things to do one of them is add a constant to our carry in on the top because it's getting angry at us you can see this red one is because it doesn't have a carry in so we want our carry in to be zero so let's just change this to zero just like that zero x zero and now it's a zero and then we'll make it face south not east south and then connect it up to that carry in and you can see these are all green now we need to add our output so grab this output pin put it right here and we can add a splitter to it and we'll make that f uh, right handed no left handed make it face uh, it's facing east we need to make it face west like that and now we can connect it up and make this the pin we need to make it 8 bits and the splitter we need to make it 8 bits as well now I'll just move it up a bit and we'll connect them up so 0 goes to this one uh, not like that I did that wrong did I connect one? okay anyway uh, we can just do this and connect it up to the first output now connect this one up and this one not there just just one goes straight across and then connect this one up to number three. whoa why is that being weird excuse me why are you angry it's angry um why would that be a problem let me look at our wiring here so this goes up to zero that goes up um, these all go over to the other one this it was this one that was angry um, I can't find any problems with that it looks normal but it goes uh, go, why is it connecting there is there something here that I'm missing anything that's connected to right there goes red um, you know what I'll do I'll just go this way sure that does look a little bit messy, but sure it works. So yeah, it's it's connected to this the sum, just kind of off to the side next to it. Um anyway. Let's see, will this go red? Yes it will. Anything connected right there goes red for some reason. Anyway. We'll just do this. Um and connect the last one. Just like that. And now our adder should be complete. Let's try adding some binary numbers. So I'm going to add 5 plus uh, 6. And what do we get? Let's see. 1 plus 2 plus 8, which is 11? Yes, 11. That's right. It works. So yeah, that's how you build a binary adder for 8 bits. Now if you want to, you can go all the way down to 32 or whatever. I believe in Logisim, yeah, you only get 32. So you can get 32 bytes, and then you probably can get more, but, sorry, not 32 bytes, 32 bits of adding capability. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!